uh, Disney DVD and Blu-ray releases. Um, the Black Cauldron, actually, if I can talk on that one here for the first time uh, in years, The Black Cauldron was actually the first Disney animated film uh, to receive a PG rating. So this one is rated G for general audiences, putting it into a bit of perspective here for you. Uh, so that gives you an idea of how fun it's going to be for you and your family to check out The Black Cauldron. Uh, released recently as a special edition Disney DVD and Blu-ray, was the first animated film to receive a PG rating, which was kind of cool. Uh, and this one here uh, is going to be fun to see, too. It's rated G for general audiences, and it's going to be fun for you to check out. So head on over to Disney.com, uh, click on Movies, and you'll be re redirected into a subsite featuring trailers and additional information, and DisneyDVD.com as well uh, has information up there for you. So, if you're wondering if I'm going to be checking this film out, I'll probably wait till it's uh, released uh, on uh, Disney DVD or Blu-ray to check it out. I won't go as far as to head to the theater and see it, but uh, I just thought I would, uh, you know, put together a little audio commentary on it for you uh, to reintroduce it somewhat to the new audience of Disney fans. Uh, I believe they have information on it at Disney.com and uh, Disney's Facebook and Twitter pages. Uh, but it's going to be fun uh, for the audiences that uh, haven't been introduced uh, to the Disney product uh, like we were probably 20 or 30 years ago uh, when I did the idea of these characters actually on the big screen uh, was not was not even thought of. So uh, it's going to be fun uh, for people to see it. And that's the advantage that the newer audiences have over people like us. Uh, the advantage to actually have these characters reintroduced on something like the big screen when all we really had was a 19-inch uh, television in our living room. So it, it, it's fun to, you know, actually check it out. As I said, you know, I remember watching Winnie the Pooh when VCRs were $1,000. So, you know, it's a, it's a big advantage and a big jump uh, from what we were originally uh, used to seeing. Uh, you know, I remember when they had the Wonderful World of Disney and Winnie the Pooh used to be on there in animated shorts. And now he's gone from that into an improved animated film uh, with somewhat of a traditional animated feel. It's not computer animated, uh, but it's it's a big a jump from what he was originally featured in. So it, it's great. Uh, and if you want to, take your family up to see it. It's rated G, as I said, The Black Cauldron, first animated film in Disney's history and in Disney's vault that received a PG rating because of the contents of the film, uh, recently re-released in a special edition Blu-ray and DVD, so uh, it's, it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun for audiences who haven't seen it. It's going to give you a chance to experience Winnie the Pooh in a whole new way, whole new story, original soundtrack, uh, original cast with some new cast members thrown in there, a never-before-seen story. I remember reading the storybooks and watching the original short films uh, and uh, it, it's it's going to be fun. Uh, tell us what you think about it at Facebook.com, Jonathan Clark, YouTube.com, Jonathan Clark 22. If I find a trailer, I'll throw it up on our Facebook page at Facebook.com, Jonathan Clark. We have the Disney Facebook link to our official Facebook for additional information that you may be searching for uh, in conjunction with the production of this audio commentary and previous audio commentaries we have featured in our YouTube channel and in our radio forum. Don't forget to sign up for our radio forum. It takes about a minute and a half to complete your registration after filling in a few details. You can use it to access our audio archives. On that note, have a wonderful day, everyone, and uh, next week here on HEW Entertainment Variety Radio, we'll turn things back over to the world of professional wrestling as we take a look at Triple H's promotion from being just a wrestler and a person in the office to being the new chairman of WWE. What direction uh, is WWE headed in? What sort of new ideas are they going to come out with? We'll take a look at Triple H being the chairman of WWE for our next installment of the program. Until then, I'm Jonathan Clark saying keep enjoying professional wrestling and the world of entertainment as it's an ever-evolving sport uh, with new stories, new things to talk about all the time, and we'll see you soon. So long everyone. Check out Winnie the Pooh, currently now in theaters for the first time in what's got to be over 30 years. I got one! I got one! I got one! Here it is, right? I got a slash and gash, cut another hole in your ass. I spill blood on the walls and play tennis with your balls. If the phone rings, don't answer the call. It's gonna slit your throat, fuck you like a goat, peel your foreskin off, and make a winner coat. Peace! You know, I've been around for so long, I never really got into the whole word to your mother crap, but if a phone call from me requesting an interview was as terrifying as that, I don't think I would have ever been as successful as I am today. You're listening to HEW Entertainment Variety Radio with me, Jonathan Clark. And if the phone rings, please answer the call. I need the ratings. Yo! That was...
was the illest rhyme I ever seen, sir! I'm gonna slash and gash. Got another hole in your ass. Feel blood on the walls and play tennis with your balls. If the phone rings, don't answer the call. I'm gonna spit your throat. Fuck you like a goat. Be your boy stand off and make a winner coat. I'm a deadly surprise. I scoop out both of your eyes. Strip the meat off your thigh. Cause everyone who meets up with me in the end eventually dies When you smoke, it affects everyone around you Secondhand smoke is especially harmful to children So keep your conscience clean Now you're talking To learn how to quit, log on today to becomeanx.org They made you jump to your feet Took your breath away And left you in amazement these are the defining moments, the unforgettable superstars, and the groundbreaking events you'll find in World Wrestling Entertainment's new video-on-demand service, WWE 24-7. Demand WWE 24-7 and get all-day access to wrestling's greatest moments, the ones you have yet to discover, and the ones you'll never forget. WWE 24-7. Play. Rewind. Relive. WWE Home Video gets you inside the ring and takes you beyond the ropes. Experience exclusive extras, thrilling action, and excitement with all your favorite WWE superstars right here on WWE Home Video. They snacked on danger and dined on death for two decades. Dominating professional wrestling and immortalizing themselves as the only tag team to hold all three major titles along the way. Road Warriors Hawk and Animal, the Legion of Doom. Now, for the first time, trace the incredible career of the most dominant tag team in professional wrestling history. From the AWA, NWA, WCW, and WWE. They were the premier tag team. Their style was very smash mouth. And in the ring, they knocked the shit out of you. Relive the stories of the most brutal and unforgettable tag team inside and out of the squared circle. Burn, I said we want you to drop the belt. Animal says, we're not going for the finish. Here came the Road Warriors and they started beating the out of the fabulous ones. Guy comes in all ticked off. What are you guys doing? Nobody's changed a finish on me in 25 years. Nobody does this. I said, well, we just did it. <laughs> this is the extraordinary journey of one of the most influential tag teams ever. From their early days, growing up together in Chicago. This is the home of the Road Warriors. This is where it all began. To the tragic death of Michael Hawk Hegstrand in 2003. He just couldn't control his demons. They, had, they got the best of him. The Road Warriors two-disc DVD set is loaded with over four hours of extras, including tons of matches spanning from the early 80s in Georgia to the late 90s in the WWE. Classic promos from the NWA and the WWE, the Road Warriors music video, and much more. And let me tell you something, they're all going to pay the Road Warriors. Road Warriors, the life and death of the most dominant tag team in wrestling history. Available now. Fifteen of the biggest superstars ever. Their lives, their stories, their greatest matches, profiled for the first time on one DVD set featuring the immortal Hulk Hogan. Yo, son of the it is the dream of a lifetime, Daddy. Oh. Ric Flair. I'm the best wrestler in the world today. Ooh. Rowdy Roddy Piper. I was Rowdy before Rowdy was cool. Plus many more of the unforgettable legends who helped lay the foundation for what sports entertainment is today. All together on one three-disc DVD set. The greatest wrestling stars of the 80s. Available now. Bodies have been How bruised. How do you learn to fall off a 20-foot ladder? He may have been broken in half. Uh, I thought Shane might have been knocked out. Dislocated my right shoulder. So I think I broke my tailbone. Necks broken. I ruptured a disc which fragmented into my spinal column. Careers ended in an instant. Yes, this is entertainment, but the hazards are real. How's he even able to stand? Trainers, EMTs, referees down. No matter who you are, whatever you do, please don't try this at home. I know what you're thinking. I'm not a real athlete. I'm just a wrestler. I'm 
I'm six foot ten, three hundred and twenty-eight pounds. I won boxing as Golden Gloves three years in a row. I was a national champion at the University of Miami. My jersey was retired at Florida State. I was the ultimate fighting champion. When you step through those ropes, bad things do happen. Had over two hundred steps. I suffered a dozen concussions. Broken bones. I've separated shoulders. Air broke my neck. I've blown out knees. But I still got up. This is who I am. This is what I do. I'm not really an athlete. This isn't real. Try lacing my boots. Every day I train. Thousands of hours of practice. Injuries can happen at any time. My kneecap just kind of blew over to the side of my leg. I've torn the pectoral muscle completely off my shoulder. I've had surgery five times in my left knee. You do question, can I come back from this? My body, my life is on the line. Don't risk yours. Please, don't try this. Hi, I'm Jonathan Clark, the voice of HEW Entertainment Radio. For years, HEW Entertainment has been the number one professional wrestling news website on the internet for good reason, including headlines, extensive video footage, a radio program weekly, a weekly column for our users to read, video footage from HEW Wrestling Network, a YouTube channel, a MySpace, a Facebook, everything that a professional wrestling news website should have, HEW Entertainment has it for you in one place. Event results, video footage, news headlines, thousands of images, a weekly column, a weekly radio broadcast including archives, fantasy results, live chat rooms, forums, pay-per-view play-by-play, and so much more. For more information, add us today at Facebook.com Jonathan Clark and check out our YouTube channel at YouTube.com Jonathan Clark 22 to subscribe to our YouTube videos. HEW Entertainment is professional wrestling's most hated website and the number one wrestling website on the internet today. Find out why by pulling us up through any major search engines such as Google, Yahoo, AltaVista, etc. HEW Entertainment, your one source for